very good afternoon my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome in this new live trading video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking today's video I'm going to use the Fibonacci retracement in order to find the best support and resistance levels and I'm going to show you again how you can do some scalping using the Fibonacci retracements now the, the really thing I need to mention here that we can never never ever rely on Fibonacci retracement alone we always have to be logic by picking our entries always be uh, checking always check the, the support and resistance levels always make sure that you are entering only the first or the second attempt of any support and resistance Fibonacci retracement is only going to give me the best level to place my entry and also the best level to place my uh, take profit or stop loss as well and I have explained that uh, earlier uh, I'm going to show you later maybe which videos I did that however uh, right now I'm going to find some good setups and I think we can find something really good here for the USDCHF uh, on the 4 hour chart let me go to the 30 minute time frame and I will draw a Fibonacci retracement from this low here to this high here and what we can see is we are not really on the recommended Fibonacci retracement which is the 50 or 61.8 uh, let's better wait for the candles to reach this level of uh, Fibonacci retracement 50 and if it does We can find that we are actually on a second attempt of the support because right here we have the support number one and Right here. We can wait for the creation of a support number two where I can place my buy order And if I do that, I will exit my trade as you know at the next retracement which is 38.38.2 uh, 38 that can give me about seven pips of profit hopefully we will get them uh, but the thing is I need to wait the candle to reach this level first uh, let me try to find something else meanwhile pound in the D nothing, nothing good here uh, I'm just checking the pairs one by one front of you oh, by the way um, if those who are asking me how do you ch wait a minute uh, those who are asking me how do you switch between the pairs uh, too fast I'm simply just dragging and drop the pair and I'm going to place buy order immediately for the USDGPY now the question is why did I place the buy order here well for starter we are on the 30 minute time frame next look at the left we see that here we have a very strong support level this support level it kept its position as a support later as you all know already from this channel these support and resistance levels they are permanent they are not temporary levels what when you see a support here be sure that this level was in the past a strong support as well now moving on going to the to the to the risk to the present we can see here the bearish breakout candle and this this support level the very same support level it became now a resistance level now what happened next what happened next is I draw my Fibonacci retracement from this lower low here to this lower high here and as I said before you can the Fibonacci is correct no matter how you draw it from as long as you are drawing it from a low to another high it is always accurate now the thing I saw here that we are on, uh, on Fibonacci retracement number 50 and we have here a support number one and right now I am uh, on the creation of support number two now let me tell you something now you might see yourself losing the trade and you might get in panic so if you see the candle goes against you you just need to continue analyzing as I'm saying always in every single live trading video just continue continue your anal analysis okay let's assume that I have lost this trade because we can see that here we had a reversal happened already on the level 50 so maybe I am making a very late entry here right and now this next candle is breaking from this level so should I get panic should I close the trade with the loss absolutely not what you should do is actually wait and analyze more now if I want to analyze it more I can see that here 61.8 is the next retracement and again we always have to be logic when we are picking our entries so is it enough that it's only 61.8 is it enough to place the trade the buy order here if the candle will reach this level absolutely not also it's not enough we have we have to be logic picking our entries so 
First of all, we have 61.8. Second of all, we can see that here we have a bullish breakout candle. Aha, uh -huh. we can see that here we had a support level. So this support level has been followed also by this support. And after that, we can see if we want to be uh, more accurate, this candle here, this is small wick here, uh, you can see that it's tiny wick, but it actually it is actually representing another resistance level. So this resistance here has been broken out by this bullish breakout candle, and therefore, if the candle will reach the Fibonacci 61.8, that is going to be a support number one. It's going to be the first attempt of this support, and therefore, I can place my buy order um, with confidence. All right. And if I do that, we can expect about eh, four pips only. Mm, not really worth it. Anyway, it is a good session just to see how we can do scalping using the Fibonacci retracement. Uh, again, don't rush. Don't uh, do any. Don't make any decision until the candle actually closes as a bearish breakout candle. So far, the candle is still going on. Uh, we still have seven minutes. On its life uh, lifespan time, uh, let's now try to find something else. Actually, I prefer to use the pound and ZD uh, when I'm doing uh, this method of uh, scalping because the smallest reversal can give you a lot of pips. Uh, let's see. Check it out on the pound in, uh, pound USD. Now, pound USD, I will draw my Fibonacci level from this high here to this low here. Perfect. We are on Fibonacci 50, right? And we can see that we are on a resistance level as well. So my entry is actually logic. However, however, looking at this, what, the, what, 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 what does it tell you? Look at that. We already had the reversal right here. Look at the candle. It reached this level. So resistance number one. And we can see that the candle after reaching this level, it went all the way down. Then the next candle, uh, went all the way down to the bottom of this tail here meaning the pair has already reversed for almost 11 pips uh, it is still good to enter here but the, uh, it's not the first bounce we are seeking if you remember from my uh, previous videos what I'm seeking or what I'm what I'm willing to enter is actually the bouncing from the candles and seeing this candle here not this one here this one right here and then the next candle um, reached this level of the support, meaning uh, the reversal or the bounce has already occurred. Still, it is uh, still going to be a good entry because in the past we can see that we had here the resistance. I'm just waiting for the candle to go for almost one pip only. It's okay. Go to the 15 minute time frame just to see it more in live. And yes, absolutely. Yes. Yes. Fantastic. I'm happy with this entry. That is the best entry I can have, actually. Uh, let's wait more and see what will gonna happen. Uh, let me set my take profit to be at the next retracement, which is 38.2. That should give me about 10 pips of profit. And again, let's see what's happening. If you see yourself losing the trade, look at that. The candle seems to be breaking out from this level. Now, the same scenario, we have to repeat it. Should I get worried? Should I get in panic? Absolutely no. Uh, just wait for the candle to close before deciding your decision if you will if you will lose this trade or not and if it does just continue analyzing don't stop you don't have to rush to close the trade so if the candle goes against me still also same scenario it's going to reach 61.8 which was also here right here uh, sorry a resistance number one we see the reversal happened so if the candle will reach this level of 61.8, that's going to be a resistance number two, and I can sell the pair with confidence. All right, that's enough of fun. Uh, let's go back now to the pound in ZD. Uh, that is not really a good market uh, to enter because we see a lot of ranging. Um, yeah, a lot of a lot, a, lot, a lot of consolidation here, and the market is just ranging. Uh, it's too much ranging here. We don't want to enter that. I'm just uh, trying to find something uh, decent, and therefore, um, that is the first USDCHF uh, setup we talked about. We can see the candle has reached this level, 
just two pips away and then reversed uh, it's okay I don't think we lost it yet let's go 30 minute time frame and I think oh yeah okay I am on look at that I am on a resistance number two right now because here we can see the resistance number one and here the candle is attempting resistance number two however don't place your trade right now the reason is it is not on any Fibonacci level it is above 61.8 and as you all know when the candles or the trend break out from 61.8 it meaning a change in the trend direction therefore uh, placing sell here is not really smart and I'm not going to do it uh, let me try to find something else uh, I need to find a, a, a setup where I can find the market is on a second or first attempt of a support and resistance and space uh, to draw my Fibonacci retracement to know that it is a valid entry or not however so far still nothing I um, really cannot find anything pound in ZD is going good right very nice so both of the trades now are going in positive uh, let me now pause this video and I'll be back to you once these two trades are finished all right so we can see <clears throat> the pound USD is approaching the target level or the tech profit sorry uh, so far we are in almost nine pips of profit I think I'm gonna take it because the pair is just one pip away from um, the tech profit level and that is actually my policy I know I said tech profit level but however um, I'm not a greedy person as I mentioned many times I just see the, the pair <clears throat> approaching my tech profit level if it's like one or two pips away I will just take it get out with this trade with profit um, the USD GPY is still going one pip in profit and our tech profit level should be on the next retracement which is uh, four pips away should give me about $13 of profit that's good so we need to find something else right now I'm trying to find something actually uh, let me draw Fibonacci retracement on the pound and ZD right on this level and we can see what that we are beyond the level 61.8 the candle is just sinking more it's going more down and therefore that is actually bad level to start buying uh, the or even scalping the pound uh, the pound at all uh, I mean the pound in ZD however we can see uh, the candle is still going more down uh, I'm still uh, glad that I exit my trade uh, with a profit and I was safe that is the I the the what, the what is the right method here what is the right term to say that is the ideology or the mentality that I'm, I'm trying to spread from my channel is never be greedy and remember that you can make money from Forex however you always have to be patient and accept the small profits uh, rather than accepting the big losses all right so we need to find something else here and so far I don't find anything good uh, we are going to um, we need to wait some time uh, allow me now to pause this video until I find another setup all right we are having here something very interesting and I'm going to place the sell order immediately <coughs> sorry sorry okay one second let me just uh, I'll be back to you guys all right sorry about that however um, uh, I have to explain to you the reason why did I place this trade right here now as you can see uh, I have drawn my Fibonacci retracement from this high here to this low here sorry as simple as that now the next thing you can see here is we are having here a resistance level this resistance it kept its position as a resistance number one and again I am entering now the reversal on resistance number two now I cannot really expect a lot of pips from this profit uh, sorry, from this trade because I'm going to exit my trade at the next retracement which is less than two pips away however uh, it is a still good idea to scalp here uh, get out with about uh, six dollars okay that is really so tiny uh, I just want to explain that this method I'm using can be applied on any time frame even daily candles you can apply that but because it's really difficult for me to do live trading uh, video when we're using this style on daily candles or on the four hour chart I'm using the 15 minute time frame 
so you can just understand the the strategy what you should look for what you should do how you should pick your entries and apply it on the bigger time frames you don't have to do the same like me here on 15 minute time frame that is really too small uh, time frame again you can do this on the bigger time frame any time frame you want apply the same and that's why i think it should be fine here to exit this trade with just uh, less than two pips of profit however we have just have to wait and see what will gonna happen um the first trade for the USDGPY is still going fine in profit we just need to get to wait more time here um look at the pound and zd it's falling down it's actually in really good level to start buying because it's on the bottom of support number two and uh, okay now i'm on the let's move to the daily candles that is crazy i know uh, let's draw Fibonacci on the daily candles and we can see that we are actually uh, below 61.8 if I draw the Fibonacci on the from this low here to this high here even to this low here to this high here yeah we cannot do anything about it um, the pound seems to be falling down from this point it's not gonna be smart to place um, <coughs> by order for the pound in ZD right now okay let's skip the pound in ZD and go back to the 15 minute time frame USDC JPY is still uh, going well uh, AUDCHF going well as well uh, we might need to pause this video now until these uh, two trades are uh, finished and by that we can end this video I just hope you guys have gotten the idea about how to do these live trades using the Fibonacci retracement so allow me now to pause this recording and I'll be back to you once all these trades are finished and AUDCHF is about to hit the deck profit level I'm going to close it because <clears throat> it's just so tiny um, I just wanted you to get the idea about how to do uh, this kind of trades now we just have to wait for the USDGPY to finish and by that we can close this video and <clears throat> I'll be back to you my friends once this trade is over alright my friends so I think we're about to close this trade right now and the reason is we are approaching the resistance number two of this uh, reversal right here and yeah I just wanted to explain that even though the the strategy rules is to go all the way for the next uh, retracement also you have to be logic now what I see here is a support level has been broken out by this bearish breakout candle <clears throat> then this support has become the new resistance now might there might be a reversal right here because this candle here reaching this level and this could be a resistance number two so to be safe I just exit this trade with about um, 3.4 pips of profit so it was a short session and it was a small profit however I just had to explain to you the concept of using Fibonacci retracement in order to find your best scalping uh, entries look at the candle you see it it's going down that's why I exit my trade with a profit even though I'm going against my rules always be logic no matter how good your strategy is no matter how you have indicators you have um, trend lines whatever you have always rely on support and resistance and be sure to exit and to enter and the right, at the right time however sorry my voice is uh, I'm not feeling well today <laughs> sorry about that anyway um, in the end I really hope that was informative to you my friends and I would like to thank you for watching